no matter what you do, you need to improve your fitness, you need to work on health, and then eventually you need to work on your mind. So welcome back to my channel guys, this is Sashi, and I just got back from my work. It's Friday, really nice day, sunny, uh, it's gonna be really nice weekends, but anyways, as I was walking back from my office to my you know, apartment, I walked through, I walked past restaurants and open cafe with like a patio, uh, you know, people walking around in downtown area. And then what I felt and I noticed was that there are so many people who are not fit and healthy and they don't really care or they appear to be not really minding about their body and their, you know, health. and. You know, I work at an uh, IT company and I'm not really, you know, one of those really super duper, you know, construction guy or fitness personal trainer kind of thing. I'm more of a geeky, you know, IT science uh, office kind of a job. But no matter what kind of jobs you work at, and no matter what kind of interests or hobbies you have, uh, the reason why i saying that everybody Ultimately, everybody needs to work on their fitness and uh, health is because your mind is going to live nowhere but your own body. Your mind lives in your body, which is kind of like an apartment, right? So your mind lives in this house or apartment or place called your body. And your apartment is messy, your apartment is you know, broken with you know, sewage issue, a water pipeline, or no, your window is broken, then it's gonna be hard for you to live in an apartment, right? Same thing. If your body is not functioning well, if you're sick, if you're physically sick, you're gonna feel mentally sick as well. If your leg is painful and injured, if your back has a pain problem, if you know you have some issue with your you know muscles, you know, shoulders, fingers, then it'll be hard for you to live. Same thing, but people don't pay attention that much because, you know, they probably undervalue the uh, significance uh, and importance of their health and fitness. But I'm telling this that there's not any single one reason why I work out. There are so many, you know, benefits to working out and then maintaining your physical, uh, you know, health and fitness. It improves my energy level, it improves my metabolism, it improves my muscle masses, it improves my bone density, it improves my cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular, uh, how do I say, cardiovascular performance, which is related to your heart, and it improves your, obviously, fitness. For example, like strength, performance, agility, uh, endurance, uh, power, all that kind of stuff, as well as health as well. And it also improves your mental health, mental uh, condition as well, because working out is gonna decrease your uh, stress hormone called uh, cortisol, which is in brain. So probably you've heard about, you know, when you get stressed out from studying too long hours, you know, just you know, go out, you know, walk around, take a walk, or, you know, go for a run, you know, just get exercise, get moving, because you know that moving is going to release your stress here, and also it uh, it enhances your sleep because working out is going to release uh, you know a growth hormone testosterone, which is going to improve your sleep. It improves uh, your sleep cycles. Uh, that's so many, you know, it improves your skin as well. It eventually improves your diet because you need to fix diet once you start working out. You start drinking more water, start, you know, thinking more about, caring more about macros, which is the ratio of protein, carbohydrates, and fat, and all that kind of, s of stuff. And then it also involves, you know, you know, working out, changing, improving your, you know, appearance as well as uh, it's going to eventually increase your self-esteem and confidence how important or valuable or you know good you're gonna feel about yourself too and that's one of the you know biggest reasons why many people actually work out but anyways 
there are so many people who are neglecting the importance of fitness and health and they can do you know normal stuff right now right like you know reading books eating out restaurants you know working taking a walk you know go travel to some countries or you know just work at the office but after 10 years 15 years they're gonna feel really you know struggles struggles like you know back pains not being able to sleep well uh knee issues leg issues uh all sorts of stuff and then they blame those stuff um with their genetics or you know they just didn't have a good luck or you know uh, stuff like that and uh, takes lots of money to fix those and uh, you know after 10 years 20 years of like you know, being really complacent not really not really putting energy money and time to maintain their health and fitness they're gonna feel shitty as well and you don't want to be like that and people say like oh I don't have time to work out oh I don't have you know I don't have money to go to the gym I don't have time to work out because I'm too busy with working but you know what you know you create your own time it's about how resourceful you are going to be you are going to be you know people have so many you know spare times and they probably end up uh, spending time on Facebook Instagram snapchat YouTube so there's no excuses you know, people have like you know, 40 minutes in every single day they have at least 40 minutes of spare time and if you don't probably you can probably you know make your life more efficient think about where you can cut in a, you know create more you know window in your you know daily schedule uh, to to block for your exercise and fitness so there's no really you know uh, everybody um, is given uh, the same amount of time and people some people have better um, some people have better control in their life time management and their control on their body as well some uh, others don't and it really comes down to it really comes down to what you're gonna put uh, you know more priorities and if you don't put uh, you know one of the highest priorities in your fitness and health uh, you need to pay back that you know you need to pay back that cost after 10, 15, 20 years not, you know, paying attention to and, uh, you know, maintaining uh, your body, fitness and health. So you're going to pay a lot of money after. And you're going to feel shitty about it as well. So that's that. There's so many people who just know, you know, you don't think being normal is okay. You don't think not being normal is not that bad, right? But being normal is really, really bad. Think about what average people do, what average people eat, and what average people eat how frequently average people exercise and what kind of you know, income they are making for average people. Living the normal and the average life is really, really low. You know, think about it. Most people don't even exercise. Most people would just eat junk foods, you know, pops, coke, soda, pizza, you know, burgers, fries. Most people just complain. Most people just complain, get angry, get upset, get annoyed, get irritated. They argue, they have lots of arguments, drama issues, emotional breakdown. Most, you know, most people, you know, only make like what, an average, you know, forty-five to fifty thousand dollars a year. Most people live uh, paycheck by check, paycheck by paycheck every month. They don't have uh, enough savings in their account. And if you call them normal, and if you want to, if you are aspiring to be normal, then it's your choice. But you know. First of all, you know, trying to be normal is the first wrong choice you can make and you don't want to be normal. What society calls normal. It's you're pretty much you know, being passive, you're being controlled by society, you know, you go through the ordinal stuff like, you know, go to university, get a job, and then get a car, get a house, and then pay for mortgages for 20, 30 years, pay interest rate. Uh, total like you thirty know, percent more to your house or car. Uh, you are basically uh, contributing to those insurance companies, and that's how they make shit tons of money. And you don't want to be one of those people if you want to take control of your life. If you want to be the own leader in your life, you don't want to be living on somebody else's term, right? So you don't want to be you know living on some top CEO of insurance company and financial companies terms because they are designing those systems to make the most money 
make money the most out of you guys like normal people. So you don't want to be like that. And then same reasons why I'm recommending you guys to you know work out if you haven't if you haven't started working out. Even if you're studying you know, even if you're studying engineering, math, computer science, even if you are more artsy type of person like you know music, um, it doesn't really matter. If you don't have muscles enough, you don't have you know muscle masses, and if you have too much body fat, it's gonna cause all sorts of you know uh, health issues, heart attack. Um, so, so yeah, um, that's uh, what I felt today, and uh, that's uh, one of the reasons why I keep working out. Even if, even if my job doesn't require me to be that fit and eventually you know you know being able to improve and get you know the feeling of the accomplishment and the growth uh, feeling the growth you're always you know growing that makes you become more happy so that's kind of the reasons why I keep working out because I feel the sense of uh, achievement uh, growth and that's uh, one of the biggest reasons why you know I'm being pushed to, to, to reach the next level in my life. So hope you have, um, hope you kind of understood what I said in this video. Um, and uh, you know, if something you know I said resonated with you, that's cool. If not, that's also cool as well. Just know it didn't resonate at this point. Maybe in ten years, fifteen years, twenty years from now, when you get sick, when you have really you know some health issue, or fitness issues, or some like financial issues, then that's a time you really need to think about it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye bye.